Now, the U.S. Supreme Court released another major ruling today, one that focused on the growing population of Americans who are homeless. The court sided with the small Oregon town of Grants Pass in finding that cities are, in fact, allowed to enforce bans on people sleeping outside. Ashley Koch is a producer with NBC affiliate KGW News in Portland, Oregon, and she joins us now. Um, Ashley, just how significant is this ruling? I think that it has the potential to be pretty significant. If you look at the support that it had um, from leaders of West Coast cities, a very liberal West Coast cities, you know, the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, filed a friend of the court brief in support of overturning the lower court Ninth Circuit ruling Martin v. Boise, which initially said that it was cruel and unusual punishment to punish people for sleeping outside if there was nowhere else for them to go. So now they're not, they, these leaders have said that that ruling has hamstrung their ability to address homelessness in their cities and allowed it to just blossom. Now they're potentially not barred by that anymore, but it remains to be seen how it's actually going to be tackled. You know, we don't potentially have the police force to go after people sleeping outside. We don't potentially have the room in jails if people do get jailed or the staffing at jails. So all of that remains to be seen. This small town, Ashley, of, of Grants Pass that's at the center of this ruling, what's the background there? So I think it's really emblematic that Grants Pass is the city that became the center of this because it is a relatively small city. It's only about 40,000 people in Southern Oregon. But years ago, they passed ordinances saying that people can't sleep in parks or on sidewalks or on public property. And a city councilor from years ago is quoted as saying they want to make it so painful for homeless people to be in Grants Pass that they don't stay in the city. But like I said, it's emblematic that it's Grants Pass that is at the center of this case because this is a small city and it goes to show that homelessness to the degree that it's at is not just a big city problem. It's not just a Portland problem, a Seattle problem. This is something that's affecting small towns, small cities all throughout Oregon and throughout cities in the West Coast. So if they have the ability to pass ordinances that address sleeping in public places, you know, people have said that they feel like they can't go to their parks anymore. They can't walk down the sidewalk anymore. So it'll be really interesting to see how this plays out in these kinds of towns. Yeah, you know, and, and with homelessness being such a, uh, well, growing problem, as you outlined there, Ashley, in the U.S., um, where does this go from here, this, this particular issue? Yeah, I think that'll be really interesting to see because everyone that I've talked to has said, you know, policing homelessness is not solving the problem. Putting people in jail and sticking them with fines or court cases or a criminal record while they're trying to get housing down the road is not going to solve the problem. Everyone that I've talked to has said, no, the really the root issue of this is that we don't have enough housing. We don't have enough housing in Portland. We don't have enough housing in the state of Oregon. We don't have it on the West Coast. But that's a much bigger problem to try and solve. Um, so. I think it'll be interesting to see how they, you know, if more housing policy is developed. In Oregon, that's a huge conversation in the legislature. There's a lot of effort being moved to make more housing. But in the short term, I think leaders really wanted to see something where they could have a little bit more teeth when it came to people sleeping in public places. Ashley, really appreciate you uh, bringing all this context to this ruling for us. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Pleasure. That was KGW News producer Ashley Koch joining us from Portland, Oregon.